It is county fair season and things this year could look a little bit different because of the threat of bird flu. And the National Desk's Janae Bowens has a closer look at some safety plans. They're safe either way. Nothing to worry about. If there's a bird flu outbreak right before the Allegan County Fair, they'll have a virtual cattle show instead. There's a big screen set up in the middle of the Walden Rummery Arena where we do our livestock show. We'll have a barn with bunnies instead of poultry in it. Some fairs have banned milk cows altogether. In Michigan, milk cows are not allowed at fairs until 60 days have passed since a reported positive case. In Iowa, Wisconsin, and Minnesota, lactating dairy cows are only allowed at fairs if they have proof of negative flu tests the week before they arrive. That's according to health and medicine experts with STAT. Use sanitizer. Um, don't touch your eyes. Don't touch your mouth. Dr. Brian C. Castrucci of the De Beaumont Foundation is is an epidemiologist and says fairgoers don't need to be alarmed, but cautious. Make sure that you're not bringing in any toys for kids or drinking glasses or anything that could you know, carry infection. And if you do touch an animal, make sure that you are washing your hands and try to keep that to, to a very minimal kind of interaction. The CDC says animals should only be on display for 72 hours or less. We're going to try to be as safe as we can. Now, in 2012, there were 305 human cases of the swine flu. Jan, most of those cases can be traced back to people's exposure to pigs at fairs. Yeah, so what preparations, today are being made for a, a possible, you know, mass human outbreak of the bird flu? Yeah, so the federal government gave Moderna $176 million to develop their bird flu vaccine. The CDC maintains the threat to the general public is low, but plans are in place in case it becomes a pandemic. We certainly hope not. All right, Janae, thanks so much.